Hi, now we are going to see how to use a renderer in 3GS, which is a really important piece of this puzzle. Renderer is one of the main uh, class or instance that we have to use on 3GS, which is similar to a printer because we can send it to the printer information and the printer will give you a paper printed with an image. In this case, the renderer is going to print a canvas with an image and we need to pass to it, to the print, to the renderer, some information in order to get the canvas. Let me remind you that when we are using HTML, we can use an EMG tag img tag in order to show images but working with files like .png .jpg or .giff but there is another way to show images in html which is using canvas canvas by default any browser set In, with a specific size, for example, 200 uh, pixel of width, 100 pixel of height. But we, the documentation is going to assume that the size of the canvas is going to play to expand and is going to have the same size of the window so there is nothing else than a canvas to show on the screen so that is an assumption that make uh, the code we are going to see right now so the first thing that we have to do is go, go to the official library documentation of this library as we usually do and go to the creating a scene tutorial which is a getting a start document which tell us we can instantiate a webgl renderer in this way we are going to copy these three lines and we are going to create our own renderer ECMAScript 6 module incorporating our library, the library 3JS and exporting by default the renderer. And as I told you, tell you before, we can set the size with the inner width of the window and inner height of the window to the renderer and this renderer is going to put in this attribute a canvas because this one is equal to canvas in some way so this canvas is going to be placed into the body like this so this one is not needed because it's going to be loaded automatically when this line is run. Uh, now we need to see how we have to use the render because now we have a render but we don't know how to use it. So if you see down into down in this tutorial you will see you will find that line that we are going to use here in our entry file and this is the way we can print into a canvas our image that contain our uh, cube that we were developed in the early uh, lessons so at this moment you have to know that the camera the scene and the box extends from an object 3d and the position of three of them of the three of them is ta -ta -ta -ta. let me show you 
position by default is the same is zero 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 so the camera is not watching at the box at this moment in order to do that we can use the position set and make it run backward by steps by units by meters and now we are in condition <laughs> we can uh, we can show the result on the screen so I am going to run npm run build that it were running and we need to deploy our project into live server and we will see finally an image an image that can that is built on let me refresh the page on a canvas as you can see here um, that's all by now see you in the next video where we will see uh, how to use uh, vector 3 which is a really important topic on the 3JS environment development games and blah blah see you then stay around